Hi, my name is Ray and welcome to Get Crafty Crafty. First of all, thank you to everyone for checking out our first three pilot episodes, Things You Can Make with Household Ingredients. Today we are shooting in our new LA location and we'll be starting the first of our three projects, Funnel with Plaster. Today we'll be starting our first project, which is making an Italian style fresco, which is a nice starter project to introduce kids how to work with multi-mediums. You'll be working with crayon, watercolor, and plaster. Let's get started. The items that you'll need for today's project include a disposable mixing cup, a small mixing spoon, one cup of plaster of Paris, half a cup of water, about a square foot of burlap or fabric, crayons, watercolors, and a square foot of cardboard. Stop! I almost forgot. Check out this video before you continue this project. It, it's a bunch of things that you need to know about working with plaster. If you are a kid, definitely check it out. If you're an adult, still check it out. You never know what you might learn when, check, when working with plaster. Once you've watched this video, your project will continue in three, two, one. First, take your fabric or your burlap and place it in the center of your cardboard. Take your mixing cup and pour your plaster into the mixing cup. Slowly pour your water into the plaster and start mixing. Mix your plaster until it's smooth and there are no more lumps. Pour it over your fabric to create your plaster surface. Slowly pour it evenly throughout your fabric. To even out your plaster and avoid any lumps, lightly tap the side of your cardboard to spread out your plaster. Set it aside for 20 to 30 minutes to let it dry. For best results, wait overnight. Once your plaster has set and dried, go ahead and start using crayons to draw on your plaster surface. Today I'm drawing a sunset since it's really hot in LA and what better way to remind yourself of the heat than to draw a sunset. You'll notice by rubbing the crayon into your plaster, it creates an interesting blending effect. Using your crayon, you want to color 30 to 40 percent of your fresco. Once you finish coloring, fill in the rest with watercolor. This is the third medium in our multi-medium project. You'll notice the watercolor reacts differently to plaster compared to regular water. See what interesting techniques you can paint with when creating your fresco. Once you finish coloring your fresco, go ahead and put it on display. Leave the fabric on to hold the plaster. Uh, it's a great introduction piece to introduce kids how to work with plaster, crayon, and watercolor, three different types of mediums. Uh, come back next week where we'll be creating our next plaster project and take care. Disappear. Reappear. Thanks for watching, come back next week, and remember to share your experiences below, and to share and subscribe to the channel. Take care.